What's up, my crypto homies? This is the hourly chart of Bitcoin. I'm going to zoom out pretty quick here and show you the daily chart, what's going on. A few things I want to touch on. Recently, Bitcoin will pump up and it's kind of a it's kind of a last hurrah. Like, let's zoom out. Okay, so let's see. A few videos back, I made a video talking about this could be a Batman structure where uh, that's just the word I use for it, where where there's this big pump up and it kind of puts in some ears and then kind of falls back down and the whole that whole pump comes back out eventually. That could be what we're still dealing with. It, it hung up here for like a month above 30,000. So let's just touch on that real quick. It doesn't have to be the shape of Batman, right, with the ears on the left and right. This kind of has a little tuft of feathers in the middle of his head. But, but I just want to show you what I think is going on here. This is the hourly chart, like I said. A common thing, a, a little pattern it's been doing lately is it'll put in these pumps, right? These, these big pumps. See that big pump there? Boom. And it comes right back out. Kind of kind of a little Batman there. Let's get away from Batman. But here, before before a dump comes, it puts in these puts in these last hurrahs. Like the bulls are like, ah, this pump from 27,000, you know, 26,000 to, to 31 was awesome. Let's keep doing that. And see, see how it's working? See, that's where it kind of it kind of consolidates, and there'll be a big be a big pump. Let's turn my magnet off. The pump, and then boom, comes right back out. See how it's working? And it's it's kind of it's kind of one here. You, you can kind of see here. And I, I think this is recently. That's why I'm talking about it. Recently, this this is probably what this is right here, right now, where we're at today, right now. See that? Zoom in on that little booger right there. Okay, so. As you can see, I have a bunch of blue channels drawn in here, and it'll get. It looks kind of confusing right now. This is the hourly chart. I'm gonna go to the daily chart, and uh, but first I'm gonna show you on the hourly chart these little these little blue channels inside of the big blue one. You can see I've been charting this. I haven't been making videos recently, but you can see I've been charting this one. See this descending channel? It breaks out to the top, forms a, a another a descending channel, breaks out to the top, comes back down. And then it forms an ascending channel, breaks out the top. This was the, the local high right here at 31,800, whatever you want to call it. Boom, breaks down the bottom, set it working. And it's immediately formed this, this little descending one here. And three times it's pumped up out of it. See that? It's basically hit its target out of it. One there, two there, three there. Those are the, the three I just circled. Right where it's kind of like we don't want the euphoria to end. Ha ha ha! It's still going up. Boom! No, it's not. Boom! No, it's not. Right? Bitcoin's basically been going up for seven months in a in a in a bear market. Right? So it, it's actually unhealthy to keep going up and up and up and up, even though that's what it's been doing. And it's kind of you know probably due just for a correction. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. It's can't say it's coming all the way back down to you know twenty six thousand. But but I want to show you what we're dealing with here. So. You can see just recently, like in the last 12 hours, it has wicked down and bounced directly off the top of that little channel. See that? So that could happen again. That that could be that could be a pretty interesting thing. Um, now it's treacherous to take along here because you know, and maybe maybe it bounces off there a couple more times, but maybe it comes back down here. And I just want to show you a couple things that could happen, right? You know, but eventually it's in a downtrend and it's coming down to the bottom of this guy here. This is what I really want to talk about in this video. You can see, I'll go to the daily chart. This will make a lot more sense. Whatever it does here, right? I think it's coming down to this area, right? I think, you know, maybe maybe it comes down here and it bounces off here. That's how I got stuck in this position I'm about to show you with a, with a descending, giant descending parallel channel. I, I shorted the bottom when I should have longed. So this would be tempting to, to long the bottom and play the bounce here. Like I said, I'm going to the daily chart here in a second. It's tempting to long here, right? And <laughs> play the bounce. But what if this is a breakdown out of this big channel? And let's go to the daily chart. This is a doozy, folks. There hasn't been one that's big and juicy for a long time. So I've got these blue vertical lines in here marking the last Friday every month, which is the futures expiration dates of Bitcoin. Just ignore those. There's no real pattern forming although a typical thing to do in the past when i was charting this i'm not on this chart here but in the past was after the last friday if it 
if it was strength going into it, it would dump afterwards. And it does appear that's what it's doing now, but just ignore those vertical lines. And uh, let's go. This is what I want to talk to you about this blue and just look through those lines, look through everything else. We're just concentrating on this channel here, this blue channel, ascending all the way from down here. See this down here. That's the bottom. That's the bottom of the bear market. That's where this channel formed. We didn't know it then, but you can see it there. Boom. Came down, hit it here. Came down, hit it here. And is it coming down to hit it here now again? Let's get my orange scribble out of there. It's getting interesting, folks. So what I want to show you is I've marked some other ascending channels here. This is the daily chart. This is the all-time high back on the far left here. All-time high, 69,000 or so. Ascending channel, you see it busted out the top, came busting back down through. Down on the hourly chart, that's the behavior it just did on the local top. It what was a 31,000 or whatever. And so that could be the top for a while. But anyways, that's what I want to talk about. I just want to show you some of these ascending channels in the past. Boom, big breakdown. Boom, big breakdown. See how they come down, hit the bottom a few times. Test the bottom, test the bottom, test the bottom, breakdown. Right, boom, see? Test the bottom, test the bottom. And it tests the top too, right? Test the top. We've been testing the top for sure. Test top and bottom, top, break, boom, break down. These are ascending channels on the daily chart. When they're this big, I've never seen one break out the top and stay there. I said that before on a real shallow one back through here a few months ago where it actually did come out the top. If I put that one back in there now, we're probably back in it, actually. But but uh, this has got some steepness to it. So you can kind of see what I'm sensing here. I could be wrong. Maybe Bitcoin does go up from here. So don't let me make you you know don't make your decisions just based on what i think is going to happen but you can see big breakdown ascending channel big breakdown okay and we formed this new ascending channel on the daily chart let's zoom in the target folks for this guy if it were to break down out the bottom that's about six thousand two hundred would be the target give or take so let's just let's just say it would break down in the next couple of days from uh, say twenty seven thousand six hundred, a six thousand dollar move, folks. Now it doesn't have to hit the target, but you can see in the past that it does, and it usually goes more than that. But let's say let's say it breaks down from the target here at twenty seven thousand. Let's just call it twenty eight. Let's say it breaks down in a couple of days from twenty eight thousand. A six thousand dollar move, six thousand three hundred dollar move or so would be the target mind you this is just the target about 21,600 would be the target it could come further than that would, that would be a 22 percent dump about a 23 24 percent dump from where we're at right now this as I make this video that could be what's happening and then I look over to the left here and I want to see was there is there any resistance and support in the past? with a target I just showed you. And actually there is, if I go back here, there's support at that exact line. There's also resistance here. There's big resistance here in the past. See that? Resistance, resistance, resistance. It breaks it, comes back down, bounces off of it for support. So there is, interestingly enough, there is history for that line. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but, but it's interesting. That's, that, that's a doozy. There hasn't been one that big with that big of a target since uh, back here. What was the date on that? Since April, start of April, it topped out. Uh, April 20, 2022, that is, on, on the way down from the all-time high. That one had a target of, uh, let's see, 53.5 to about 10,000. That's a big target, so that's nothing to, uh, that's nothing to trifle with. If you're super bullish, you might want to be careful. But like I say, news, right? The hype squad for Bitcoin on social media needs some kind of good news to hype it. And I don't know where that's going to come from. There's bad news on the horizon with the lawsuits with Binance and CZ. And they were probably doing some shady stuff. Maybe. I don't want to get into that. But they wouldn't have got sued if there wasn't something there, most likely. But I, you know, I'm not paying too close attention to that. I just kind of want to look at my chart here and I keep... Keep an eye on the news. 
if there's nothing if there's nothing hypeable, then watch out. Then watch out. We could be visiting twenty one thousand six hundred. And if that's the case, maybe it just goes ahead and comes down to bounces off that nineteen thousand eight hundred at twenty thousand. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I'm gonna show you my trade. I'm stuck in here. I've been showing this. I always say you probably shouldn't make videos if you're not willing to show your trades, and I like to show mine good or bad. And uh, this is just one. On Femex here, you can have up to 20 accounts. So I have other accounts where I'm, where I'm hedging long. And, uh, but you can see here, I got stuck, like I say previously, and I wasn't paying attention. and didn't use a stop loss, but I'm trying to make the best of it. And uh, I'm $429, $429 realized profit, so it's not terrible. But you can see I want to get out of this because we are eventually going to come into the grand hype cycle of them all, the Bitcoin having, And it probably is going to start early, this cycle, with the hype squad firmly entrenched in social media. I don't want to be in a long-term short position for sure. So I do. you can see these green lines here. I have buys getting out of this short position from 26000 down to down to 22,222, 26,000 down to 22,000. I have my buy set to get out, and uh, I'm just happy to get out, right? <laughs> and uh, my plan is to get out, and then if there is a big dump, I'm just probably going to move into just just buy mode. You know, just a nice a nice safe uh, average dollar cost average. And I probably won't dollar cost average, but something like that, you know. I'll probably just move into buy mode and play the next 12 month move. Um, maybe I'll do some trading on the side of some other accounts, but, but, uh, yammer, yammer, yammer. I hope you enjoyed it as always. Thanks for watching.